Unit 3, Lesson 1 is all about solving systems of linear and quadratic equations. So number 1 says solve the system 2x minus y equals 13 and y equals x squared minus 6x plus 3. And sketch a graph to check your solution. So when we solve quadratic and linear systems, here's a linear function and here's our quadratic, we use substitution. We use substitution as we pick up one variable and replace it for the other. Now, you didn't really have to rearrange this first um, linear equation here, but chances are you did by isolating y to get y equals 2x minus 13. But all you really had to do was pick up this quadratic and put that in for y. But I think it's a little bit cleaner to do it this way, where you get y equals 2x minus 13 and substitute that into the quadratic. So 2x minus 13 equals x squared minus 6x plus 3. Setting things equal to 0, because I've got a quadratic equation to solve, gives me 0 equals x squared minus 8x plus 16. And then you ask yourself, self, what multiplies to 16 that adds to negative 8? Well, it would be negative 4 and negative 4. And using the zero product property, you get x equals 4 and x equals 4. So there's only one point of intersection. That point has an x value of 4. How do you get the y value? Well, you plug it back in. So y equals 2 times 4 minus 13. That gives me negative 5. So the solution to the system is the point for negative 5. And if you were to sketch a graph, that would be the intersection point. The intersection point would be at 4, negative 5. Number two, find the x values that are in the solution set of the following system of equations. So if I know y equals 3x minus 6 and y equals x squared minus x minus 6, if I pick up that 3x minus 6 and substitute it in, I get an equation, a quadratic equation, in one variable that I can solve. And when I set it equal to 0 and add 6 to both sides, I get 0 equals x squared minus 4x, and that adds to 0. This is not the difference of perfect squares, this is just a GCF problem. So I get x equals 0 and x equals 4. It said find the x values. Find the x values, well I did, I'm done. Normally we go and find the points, but we don't care because it just said find the x values. Don't do more work than you have to. Find all the solutions to the following system of equations. So we've got a line here, and we've actually got a circle. So we have to somehow isolate one of the variables in the line. Now, the wrong, not wrong thing, but the harder thing to do would be to say that 2y equals negative x, so y equals negative x over 2. That's going to create lots of fractions and be a disaster. So I think it would be easier to say x equals negative 2y and make that substitution for x. So negative 2y minus 1 squared plus y minus 1 squared has to equal 5. Uh, make a table if you need to to multiply those binomials together there, but you're going to end up with 4y squared plus 4y plus 1 plus make another table y squared plus 2y, sorry, minus 2y plus 1 equals 5. Combining like terms here, I have 5y squared plus 2y plus 2 equals 5. Setting things equal to 0 to solve the quadratic, I get 5y squared plus 2y minus 3 equals 0. And I ask myself, self, what multiplies to negative 15 that adds to 2? What multiplies to negative 15 that adds to 2? Uh, I can't just make two parentheses, I have to group here, my fault. Would be 5 and negative 3. So 5y squared minus 5y plus 3y. Sorry, plus 5y minus 3y. I can't keep track of a negative sign right now. Minus 3 equals 0. When I group, I get 5y, y plus 1, minus 3, y plus 1. So my factors are y plus 1 and 5y minus 3 equals 0, which gives me y values when I use the zero product property of y equals negative 1 and y equals 3 fifths. So 
when we solve a system of equations like this, we're looking for the point of intersection. I know the y values this time. Those are my y values. I now need my x values. So it's a little different because I have y and I'm finding x. Well, x is negative 2 times y. So if I plug in a negative 1, I get x equals 2. Negative 2 times negative 1 is 2. And now when I plug in 3 fifths, I get negative 6 fifths because I'm multiplying that by negative 2. Those are the two points of intersection between this line and the circle that are solutions to this system of equations. They are in the solution set of, they are the solution set of this systems of equations.